Hi everyone, welcome back to Primal Beauty Queen. Today I'm going to show you how to clean out an old candle jar. A lot of candles come in really cute containers and there's no reason to throw them away when your candle is all burnt out. You can repurpose the containers throughout your home, so let's get started. There's probably some wax left in your burnt out candles and we've got to get that out, so we're going to stick the candles in the freezer overnight. After those are all nice and frosty, you're going to want to get a butter knife to help you get the wax out. And if you're lucky, you'll see some pretty big cracks in the wax. Those cracks are a really good spot to stick the knife in so you can wedge the wax up from the bottom. Now these wax chunks that you're going to get out are reusable. You can use them in a wax warmer if you like. But right now we're just going to take them out of the container. Now the wicks are a little bit trickier. They're held onto the bottom of the container with glue. So we need to get those out with some regular old white vinegar. I'm going to pour that vinegar into the bottom of the candle jar and leave that soaking for about an hour or two to loosen up the glue. After that glue has been dissolved by the vinegar, you can use your butter knife to get the wicks out of the bottom of the jar. Just in case there's any glue left after that's done, I like to leave the vinegar in there for a little while longer so I can scrape up any glue that's left on the bottom. To get the bottom label off, you can set the candle in a plate full of water for about 5 minutes, and while that's soaking, you can peel off the side labels. Now if there's any glue left from the labels, you can get that off with my favorite, coconut oil. You just rub the coconut oil on the area where you still have some glue left, and you let it sit there for a couple of minutes, and then it's really easy to scrape up and wash off. And now all you have to do is wash them with soapy water and you are good to go. You can use them for a ton of things. I like to use mine to hold Q-tips and cotton pads in the bathroom. And I also love to use them for makeup brush holders. That's it everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.